All right, it seems to be raining. Uh, it is raining outside right now, sort of. And inside here, it's 60 degrees. It's not really cold out here, but it's damp. I have to be, I have to be careful. Let's see if this microphone is gonna make a difference. So I've been uh, kind of working out here. It's been a little cold. It's been warm during the daytime, but <clears throat> this heater here, I was trying to hook it up to the big tank, but it doesn't seem to can't seem to get it to work. But I had this uh, filter, this on here. I'm gonna have to take take this off and find a way to connect the two these two hoses that try it direct <clears throat> but as far as that goes i wanted to uh update on what i was doing um i finally got the bike back in the garage here the, uh, my shop and i had to make this i don't have the money for a motorcycle stand or even to get one to fit in here it's they're pretty big so I created my own this is a 2x12 um, something I've had I was using it when we were painting and I picked this up at Harbor Freight <coughs> this one you can I, you can actually uh, raise it um, but I'm not gonna show how that and I picked this card up I think it was my other video, but you can raise this. This will fit in here like so. And jack jack it up. But um, I was inspecting the uh, the bike, the, the rim and everything. I mean, it's dirty, but it's, it's pretty clean. So... So I was looking over the bike, I, you know, what I need to do to this, to bring it back to life. Now I did uh, manage to, it, do, it does start, it runs. Um, I got a rebuild kit for the carburetor, I don't know if you can see that or not. I got a rebuild kit for the carburetor, so I'm going to be taking the carburetor off. I actually got a new carburetor for it. So I may just rebuild the carburetor, I don't know, and try to use the old carburetor. It was pretty nasty in there, it was all pitted from I mean, sitting around. So, and I bought a sandblaster kit that I can hook up to my air tank. And it's, it's rated at 4.0 SCFM. 90 psi so I think there's plenty of uh, plenty of air power to I I already used it to uh, clean the brake some of these brake parts like this here still hanging here <laughs> when I painted this I painted this thing it was all but it was kind of rusty so but this is the other Everything's gotten dusty since I've been sitting around here. But this was all crusty in that. And I did a little sandblasting and cleaned it up. And then I painted it with uh, this stuff here. Flat black. And it seems to be pretty durable. But that's the part that I had to order. I got to I need these are the brake shoes but uh, that were on it and I'm gonna order some new shoes they're pretty they're, they're just running out of meat on them so but the wheel you know I 
just wait. I gotta wait till I get paid on Wednesday to order some tires. I gotta a rear and a front. The rear. I'm gonna replace the front tire on this one. Everything seems to be good on this. I, I'm gonna try to try to paint this without getting the spokes. I don't know if I can. I don't want to take the wheel apart and re-spoke it. That was a kind of a pain in the ass spoking that thing. But I, I know how to do it. But I'd like to be nice if I can. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if I clean it up, it's it's not too bad. It's not really too rusty. I might be able to shine it up. But so I got the flat. The flat black color it, and it turned out pretty good you know with the new spokes on there but I don't think these are gonna they might shine up they don't seem to be real rusty so it's gonna take some time just rubbing out the, the spokes <laughs> but it, I sprayed some um, brake cleaner in in the carburetor here and uh, cranked it over I don't know if it's gonna start I can try it I about threw my shoulder out trying to start this thing There's spark. I tested it for spark. Oops. Where'd that, where'd that straw go? It's not stuck in there. tape trying to start <laughs> not used to doing this I think it did start the other day you can hear it oh almost hear it there so it started this thing I just noticed I don't know I don't know if this video is coming out but on the kick Starter, I purchased this online that was missing it and it's kind of missing kind of wore missing a piece right here when you go to kick it it's like way back is way back so I need to maybe put a piece of weld right there and keep it from because I don't want it to when I kick it it, it pushes it goes kind of way back so I'll have to figure that out and I might have to I think I might have this might have to go down just a little bit I don't know but I was looking at it from the back and I noticed that the frame is kind of kind of bent a little. I don't know if it's, it's supposed to look that way I don't know if anybody knows but that's what I was looking at um, but it's just a matter I'm gonna take and take the swing arm off and the shock off I'm gonna try to get all this paint off of here and make it and bring back the yellow you know and maybe so I'm going to try maybe sandblasting the engine here. See if I can bring back the chrome on it. Because I don't like this gray paint. I don't know why somebody spray painted it gray. But, but uh, just thought I'd just thought I'd do an update on what the hell I'm doing. 
here. And then I got a new uh, grinder. It, uh, hoping this, uh, I'm hoping this microphone works pretty good. I've been used, I used it when I was out last year when I went out for rides and then I tried to do a video of me talking so but this camera I got has a microphone input so we'll see looking at once I get done doing this video but that's where I'm at with this um, but I needed a, uh, a motorcycle stand so I can work on this particular bike <coughs> and maybe the rest you know I can I can take this apart and adjust the, the wideness of it by taking these screws out and taking this plate out. <coughs> so, well, that's where I'm at. I'm getting ready to order tires for it, and I still gotta. I've been debating on whether or not to uh, order. Um, A brake lever I got a I need a brake lever because you know I got I got the foot pegs for it <coughs> I think the brake lever goes here and the spring attaches to here so and then there's a, a rod that goes <coughs> back to the brake so I don't know if it's so we'll see. I think it comes along here somewhere. <coughs> I'm talking, my throat's getting dry. Well, that'll be all for the video here. Just an update. It's still still free. Yeah, it's just just me, microphone. Uh, just uh, mostly do these videos for my my kids, so you let them know what the heck I'm doing. Yeah, but I don't care for the. Uh, I don't know if these were just black or silver. These the swing arms, so I'm gonna be sandblasting. I mean, some of the parts, you know, have been broken off. So some. There was quite a bit of missing parts for this, so, so I'll give you a close-up. Yeah, I mean, the carburetor is, needs to be rebuilt. Uh, I need to uh, redo the muffler because somebody cut the uh, tail off. <coughs> I think I'm going to repack the uh, muffler with my own stuff. I'm gonna, I, I have a way to uh, make a muffler, you put a pipe in there, and you, punk, pull, you, you poke holes all over in the pipe, and then you put uh, steel wool around that, and then run it out, and I'll put a, a cap on the back. So, that's where I'm at. Um, that's where I'm at. I'm try to keep the microphone up by my mouth. <laughs> I, had a, I had a headset that I, in my helmet when I was doing this. It just automatically stayed in front of my mouth. So <clears throat> that's where I'm at. Um, like, share, subscribe. Just uh, thought I'd give you guys an update.